Hello people of the tubes. This is super hot and super hot thinks it's a really good game. Super hot in fact thinks it's the best game that was ever made. So much so in fact that it, it can totally justify five minute long cutscenes that you can't interrupt and that are basically nothing but words flashing on screen. And this is what bothers me quite a lot because there's a lot of interesting, well I, I suppose there's one interesting idea here. There's precisely one interesting idea in this entire game and that isn't bad. There's games without interesting ideas and having one interesting idea is definitely a, a very good improvement but the execution is not so good. I mean the gameplay is definitely alright. It's not the best gameplay ever. But what really is the problem is the story because I think the story is quite retarded and unnecessarily slow, unnecessarily slow because well, no idea why in the beta they apparently didn't have this story and I think that was a good thing and they should have kept it that way but unfortunately they they've gone really overboard with the amount of annoyingness that the story is throwing your way and another thing that bothers me about this game quite a lot is just the, the amount of flashing white text and computer noise and just repeating the word super hot all over the place. I, I really couldn't deal with it. The first time I played it I just had to, to shut down the game 15 minutes in because it was so bloody annoying. And that's too bad because this game is really addictive despite there just being the simplest gameplay ever but still rather good. It's too bad that they messed up with the story so much. I will now show you an uninterrupted two minute sequence of unskippable gameplay that is just pure cringe so go ahead you might want to skip ahead if you've already experienced the badness that is the story of this game it's it doesn't contain spoilers if you could call anything that is in here spoiler worthy but here you go, just just have a, a listen and just imagine this being the biggest thing on your screen. If you want to go full screen then you can get a full experience of how bloody annoying this game is. Alright, here you go.
And so it basically goes on like this, and you can't skip this. The words, I didn't type those words, I, you just press buttons, a certain amount of buttons, and then it just forms these words for you. And when you saw earlier when it was, when it said you can't disconnect, it, it requires you to press escape like a, a lot of times and it just blurs the screen and then, ah, it's just horrible. Just the, the worst kind of interactive storytelling ever. Hmm. Oh yes, quite bad. And there, there goes the, the screen going all bzzz, bzzz, and <laughs> all the epilepsy going on there too. Look at that. <laughs> uh. So there is where I started the video. It's basically just this jumping down and, and killing people, which is the good part of the game. But then about, then is the, and here comes the critique of the gameplay then, because this is a, a relatively interesting concept and it would be really nice if they had done more with it. So in case you haven't heard, if you don't move, but time doesn't move, so bullets don't move and you have basically strategic st strategic clarency of deciding what you want to do. Like that bullet there, could have dodged it, but I didn't. <laughs> so, yeah. Which is technically good, right? So, except for the fact that basically all that means is that the slower you go, the the better your chances of survival are, basically, because at any point you might hear a bullet and then you might understand where that bullet is and then might be able to dodge it. You can't look around, mind you, because looking around would advance time, so if you stand perfectly still then then you would in fact be frozen in time and then you would be able to make your decision, but you can't look around and see where that bullet behind you is coming from, for example, unless you want to be hit by it, because it would hit you then. So, basically, the game is just a, a regular shooter in which you have to stand still in order to... have to stand still every once in a while to, to make sure that you don't get hit by all the bullets. And that is the most of it. That is the the uniqueness of it. I mean, there's some times where you could have moments where you do really nice things, like throw a gun at someone and then grab their gun and shoot them with with their gun. Stuff like that is pretty cool. But other games have slow motion, and you could do those things in other games. Well, except for picking up guns out of the air. That is, I suppose, that's also a nice feature. The fact that you could interact with these things when they are happening right then instead of well I suppose in other games if you pick up a gun it doesn't pick it up right away and allow you to fire it instead just gives you the ammo from that gun or whatever so in that respect it's it's a it's definitely different than other shooters but it's not wholly different it's not entirely different in on every way. It's still basically a game where you shoot guys and you run around and dodge bullets. So essentially it's just your average shooter, right? I mean, yes granted there is lots of... there's those two things, but then what they removed from this from this shooter other than that is that they've reduced the number of weapons to five I think baseball bat pistol sword shotgun and assault rifle and those are the only weapons that you have and there is only one type of enemy which is regular red and regular red bad guy right so those th that means that everything is extremely limited there's the ability to jump into other characters and then your old character dies and there's one less guy to worry about which I don't think is a very good feature because all that does is eliminate one guy for you and possibly put you out of 
the line of fire, so you might survive. But I don't think it's that great of a feature, so I won't have to talk about that for now. That part apparently has been added after the... Well, like halfway through the game it gets added. I don't think I have it in this clip yet. But yeah, there's this extreme limitedness of of situations that the game can give you. For example, there's no no bosses. I mean, there well there is basically a no. I guess the, it, there really isn't any bosses. There's just a a challenge of kill this many guys to to kill the boss, but the boss doesn't actually attack, so I wouldn't count that as a boss fight. So. Essentially, there is no boss fights, so this is literally all there is. I mean, the game is addictive and interesting, but there isn't infinite to it. They could have added more weapons, which would have been really interesting. They could have added ha armored enemies, for example. I don't know, so you could, so they could take one shot and then the the armor crumbles. That would be interesting, right? There's lots of things they could have done with this, and they they did not do much with it. Instead, they just asked for twenty dollars and be done with it, and then harass you with this these mind games of of fucking cutscenes that you've seen earlier, which is quite sad, really. Hmm. Yes, not sure what they were thinking about that part. I mean, it's a all right game, but I think it's more like. 10 bucks what it should be worse. There's just so little content there. And and the story mode just just imagine the cutscene from earlier and imagine that being like a third of the entire playtime of the story mode and that's just all the fucking time you you're going to have to sit through sh shit like that. And then the story mode only takes an hour, and then it tells you you must send this game to all your friends. You must say them, you must tell them that it's the most innovative shooter of all time. And it's like, what? This isn't this isn't what I would bother my friends with. <laughs> so basically, there is some good, but there is also a lot of bad with this game. And it's a tragedy, but I guess it's better than some games. I've definitely paid more money for worse games, but then again, I've only played this game for like three hours. I mean, even even games that are really bad, I've played more than three hours because they take that long to complete. I will probably play this game some more for the challenges, but well, for the endless mode, more I'm not too fond of challenges, but. Yeah, it, it has its moments, but I, I don't see this being played for more than 10 hours, so it, it is so limited, and I don't know, will they make more? Who knows?